Hey guys, welcome back to Epic 8. We are bringing you guys live coverage from the Thermaltake Esports Call of Duty 4 tournament that is currently taking place. We are watching Avida versus Division 5 Valley Team. The first map went in favor of Avida. 13-11 on Crossfire. The second map went in favor of Division 5. Value 13-11. Uh, so, this is the final map in their group stage round, and uh, this is pretty much the decider. This is uh, this is everything is running on this one, especially after you just had two games going 13-11. So let's on hop onto the match and uh, see where these guys are. At. They're going to be having a quick little knife round, and then of course choosing the sides that they want to go for. Do you see just one more player there from D5 Vanity team going quickly ready, readying up, and then. Uh, here we go, live into this matchup. And let's take it away with with the knife round. So he's going to be choosing what side, of course. Some might say the attack is better, some might say defense is better, but I, I definitely am going towards defense being the easier side, especially when played with a team that uh, that can communicate. We'll be seeing Avida falling behind two people early on. Sam fighting back, but takes out Blink. KRS onto runs two versus four. Can Sam get another flying knife in? Down onto someone. Broski takes out Foons. Now oh, Sam coming out of Link here. Just misses an SMG. He doesn't want to get surrounded by two players. He wants to try and single them out. And it seems like his teammate is being surrounded at this time. Moving over. We'll see him again, surrounded by three players, can't land the knife. Noxon takes out Sam, and Noxon once again, they're onto Broski. Uh, I mean, they can choose which side they want. And it looks like Avito going on attack. Division 5 value are going onto the defending side. It looks like they'll have that, that early advantage that they are hoping to find on the, de on the defending side. Blink your last man. There we go. Jumping into the match. Let's take it over the scopes. First round. Quick little roster rundown. If you guys did just join us for the Avita side, we have Runtz, Sam, SpongeBob, X Ray, Broski. And then uh, for the Division 5 value side, we have Nox and Fighter, Karis, Blink, and Foons. And let's check. Seems Fighter win for their B Long Peak. On the other hand, Broski didn't seem also up to the challenge. We'll see Runtz pushing forward. Takes out KRS. Foon's fighting away, takes out his teammate instead. That's not the one we want to be going for. Foon's pushes forward. Actually tags up runs there. Again, falling back, just going up and down his st stairs, laying down some fire. It's just not working out all that well for him. And now we'll see. Oh, Foon's coming in there, takes out Broski. Extra with the revenge frag, though. Fighter moving in, his last man standing. Gets taken out by Spongebob. First round going in favor of Avida. Looking over the score, but we'll see Spongebob two frags first round, whereas the D Division 5 Dovel guys not doing so well. Could this me be the map for Avida? Could they come out on top and really take it away? Foon takes out Exro for pushing forward, picks up their bomb. And now Avida grabs himself two quick frags, three on three. And Noxon has something to say about it as he takes out Sam. Seems the SMG is really battling it out here towards this A side. And it seems that Avida have gone quiet. Rethinking their strategy. Just trying to find out what to do. Trying to find a weak point. I think Broski did spot that player jumping out. That back end was KRS. And now... Did Broski spot a player in Link then? No, he didn't. Fighter on top hardware. <gasps> Couple of sh Deagle shots go off. Fighter lands the shot. They're onto Broski. Kairos wakes up with an AK. Takes out SpongeBob. 1 1 inch score line. It seems it's not all that easy. Sam has got a front spawn though. And for this, I need to lock onto him. We can't let this go and watch. Let's see what he's going to do with this one. He has been so good with this SMG. Let's see if he can really use his front spawn to his advantage, pushing through mid. Dodges all the nades, takes out 
knocks and takes out Sam. Can he go for a third one? Pulls out his Deagle. There's one just behind that car. Oh, and he's heavily tagged up KRS. Fighter coming in from Link though. Fighter grabbing himself two frags. It seems both of these teams are just exchanging exceptional plays right now. Fighter being taken up by SpongeBob. And I'll see KRS as your last man standing. He's moving up from this A side. The bomb has gone down, of course. And then we will see Runs coming around the corner, quickly doing a flying SMG shot. Takes him out. 2-1 is your scoreline of either going that one round into the lead. Oh, let's watch here on Broski. Is it going to be waiting for Fighter? Yes, he is. But Fighter's not peeking all the way up onto that B alley side. So instead, Broski moves up into that middle area. Going for the middle peak, being very systematical. Seems he's done pretty much the same every round. We'll see Fighter dropping down, missing the climb onto the car to try and make himself not take any fall damage. But unfortunately, he misses it, and he's the only defense on this A side as the bomb now goes down. Explosive SpongeBob takes out KRS. Fighter all on his own on this A side has an SMG, takes out Extra, pre fires those stairs, but Broski comes in from the bottom, takes him out. Can Blink grab himself a frag? There's bullets coming in from Wooden, bullets coming in from Low A, and none of them connect. Sam finishing off Blink, and then 3 1. And right about now, Navita just looking really strong on this attacking side. And D5 needs to go back to the very defensive play that they had on strike. And we'll see Fighter actually in a very interesting position for that wall bang. Tags up Extra. Extra going down to a nade. They're, of course, being so heavily tagged up, you can be a lot further from a nade and still die from it. Knocks and takes out runs. By no means are Avita out of this one. A fighter making a stand, though. As he does start pushing forward, has got his deagle out with that scope. We'll see Sam taking our fighter. Sam again onto Broski. And here we go. Vita start their fight back. But Division 5, Vanny team are going to have absolutely none of it. And we'll see that SpongeBob is the last one standing. He's going to be walking up here, grabs the bomb, pushes up the stairs. And he's going to be in a lot of trouble. And there we go. Noxon takes him out. And that's going to be in 3 2 scoreline. And now the round exchanging starts, as we've had the previous rounds before, or the previous maps at least. Runs going for a very fast push here into this mid side. Is he going to be going for FPS? Yeah, he is. He's going to be going onto this little uh, pallet jump. But wow, KR is pushing through mid, takes him out. Sam nades himself. Um, a very confusing way to start the round, really. And SpongeBob and Broski are pretty much the only ones left. Make that only SpongeBob the one left for the Avita side. Fight out with this Deagle actually tags up SpongeBob. Quick reactions from him to spot it. And KRS that's standing on top of that crash side takes out SpongeBob. 3 3 is your scoreline. D5 evening up once again. Runs to the fun fast spawn. I know we followed him last round, but let's see if we can make something different of it this time. Fighter challenges on that B alley and gets rewarded for it. Takes out SpongeBob. Runs pushing into this lower A side. He has been spotted and heavily tagged up. Foons is quickly just going to fly around that doorway and take him out. KRS into mid, takes out Sam, being very aggressive. Vision 5, really, instead of playing very defensive, it looks like they're going for a, a very aggressive play. I'm trying to catch Avita off guard, and it's working out extremely well for them. And spraying through that wall. KRS lands the shot, they're onto Broski, and Blink onto Extro. 3 4 is your scoreline. D5 grabbing the lead and making them look oh so easy. See, the only difference at the moment is that Runs and Broski have got two frags over Noxon and Foons. Everything else is the same on that scoreboard. We'll see Runs pushing into this A side once again. It just seems like he's really just taking advantage of these guys. Throws an aid, kind of messes it up though. He's going to have to pull back a bit. See Sam pushing in with him. Who's at the top of the stairs? It is Noxon. Grabs the frag there onto Noxon. No one's going to be in there to follow, follow it up though. We do see Runs finally pushing and takes out Nox and Spongebob onto Blink. And this means Fighter once again having to come up in here and uh, try and clear up this A bomb site. Pulls out his Deagle. Can't land anything just yet. Runs with that flying SMG, takes out Fighter, and that's going to bring it to 4 4, evening it out once again. And these teams are so evenly matched, it is actually phenomenal. Let's take it away with the scopes this round, see if they. 
have a battle on that B long. Doesn't seem so. Fighters peeking it up in mid. Lands the shot there onto Extra. Starts spraying it through blue and connects with Broski. Going for the no scopes, deciding, well, hey, if I've already killed two, why not just go for more? Should be pulling out his deagle as he moves up onto Glitch. Evita, two men down. Wow, fights are going for his third of the round. Picks up an SMG. Can he find the fourth? It's actually behind him, and he hadn't realized that he has spotted the bomb. And then will be taken out after all his hard work in the round. SpongeBob takes out Fighter there, as you can see. And now SpongeBob one versus three. Well, one versus four, but has already taken one of them out. You hear some noises being made, falling it back down to Link. Staying covered as some deagle spray comes through all the way from the B bomb site. Sprays towards top blue, taking it very slow, really going from cover to cover here. Quickly flicks around for a 180. Foons is waiting right behind him. And uh, it was Foons to finally get the grab there onto SpongeBob. We will see D5 now once again taking that lead. I know the scoreboard, scoreboards are so identical to each other. Let's see what Brace is going to be doing. He's going to be going for that slow mid push. Sam, on the other hand, quick one down. B takes KRS out. And uh, has he heard the scope jumping above him? He has spotted a player going towards back A. Eh? And it does actually spot Fighter. Fighter with the Deagle, though, takes him out. But the revenge frag coming in from his teammate, Extra knocks and walking into bottom A, casually picking up runs. And SpongeBob, that means a one on one. Noxon versus Extra. And let's see where the standoff is going to head. The thing for Extra is that he needs to get into that side and try and get that bomb. Noxon, on the other hand, just going to be hiding it away. He did spot Extra moving on to that crash side, and he does not want to get picked off from that position. Extra moving all the way towards back A. Noxon does seem to be expecting it, though. He's going out onto Wooden. Very uncovered for the time being. Extra carefully watching that wooden area. Noxon seems to be coming a little bit impatient, walking backwards and forwards all around this bomb site. 30 second left. And it is Noxon who spots Enro there. Oh, sorry, Extra walking up into the wooden area. And D5 Valley are going for the 6 4. Two rounds into the lead now. Really strong stuff coming out from them to hold that defensive side and that's what they needed to do from the start let's take it away here with Mr. Foons who has made his way all the way up B-Long is going to be taking a sponge can he grab himself a second one no he doesn't knocks and takes out extra with a deagle though fights on to Sam there's an exchange of frags happen fights are moving up into Link not worry too much about what's behind him He runs dealing down KRS. Finds that missing the shot there. Onto that play towards low Ray. It is runs. Blink taking him out. <laughs> now we'll see Broski flying in towards back A. Catching both of the D5 players off guard, but they have got the better weapon. You're not going to finish him off from the end. 7 4 the scoreline. And the Vita really need to start picking it up on the attacking side. They need to try and get this last round of the half. See if they can end themselves off on a good note. Noxon landing the nade and the headshot there onto Sam. Going to be carry on pushing down this B alley. There is a play just off to his left hand side. He's completely flashed, not spraying anything by the looks of it. Going to be sitting inside waiting for his teammates to come in for some. There is an <laughs> SMG right in front of him. Lands the no scope. Going to carry on pushing forward. Did he spot the scope up there too? And does finally get shut down. Now, we'll be seeing D5 Valley grab the last round there, and that's going to take us to 8-4. So, if he'd really behind on this one after starting off strong, after starting off 3-1, and immediately already up going in as he hit up into the second half of the third map, D5 Val versus Evita. Quick look at the scores before we jump right up to the scopes, see what Broski's doing. He's feeling very confident going for that jump up towards B Alley. But nothing's going to connect. He's not even going to see fighters. Fighters all the way over to that blue area. Are well, they going to play it a little bit more carefully first round? Runs and Noxon both going down. Sam holding it. 
Tyrone. A. It seems that Division 5 are playing this one a lot slower on the attacking side compared to their counterparts who were playing it but a few rounds ago. Sam pushing towards lower A. He's going to go for a peek. It does actually find the frag there on Tafoons. Well timed from him and very well executed. Again, he's going to be walking down here. Can he find himself another frag? He has actually spotted that bomb towards that lower A side. He should be calling that to his teammates. And in a two versus four situation, it should be difficult for the Avira guys to lose this round. Although I say that they have lost the player. Spongebob takes out KRS. One versus three. Where is Fighter? Spray coming out from every which direction. Not connecting with anything just yet. It doesn't seem like the defeated guys want to give away their position or just expose themselves too much to Fighter right now. Fighter moving towards front A. Pulls that as Deagle. Going to be getting into some very close range contact any moment now. Picks up an SMG, but extra from back A takes him out. 8 5 as Avita bring back around. Seems defense making them feel a lot more cozy and sitting very tight compared to uh, compared to Division 5. I see Spongebob getting a nader onto Foons and Foons applying with a nader onto Broski. Division 5 going for this push down this B alley. Three on three at the moment as Sam takes out KRS. Has really rotated all the way out from back A. Eh? And it looks like Avita have really prepared this defense. All three of their players are in a position where they can cover this B bomb site. Knox and getting heavily tagged up. Going to carry on pushing forward. Has the SMG. Has that close range fast rate of fire weapon. And of course, a teammate just behind him. Finally, going to go for that plant. And now, what's extra planning to do? Planted. Looks like he's going to wait for someone to walk into his aim. Not giving too much away right now. As he drops into Link, he's going to carry on pushing round. Fire coming down. Sam takes out Noxon, pulls out his Deagle. His teammate needs to move into a better position here. Blink, last man standing, but no extra coming in from Bialy. Going to finish him off. And there the defuse starts. And that means the Vita is going to be going 6 8 now. As they start closing diffused. off that massive four round gap that they were left with at the half. Broski moving into this mid area. Pulls out that scope. Lands the shot through the smoke there onto Foons. Great start for the Avita guys. As then I just look for the other four players and it seems like they are dropping like flies. KRS going down. Noxon in there too. Broski pushing up here, really pushing the advantage that they have. Sam just toying around with his deagle right now. Blink towards his top B side. Or top B alley side and he's going to be trying to find a frag here. The bomb is all the way over towards that A side. Sam with a superb deagle and fights are sitting all the way in spawn building. Which I don't despise because I myself have once pulled up for one versus five from here. So it's entirely possible he could do the same. He's pulling out an aid. Going to be throwing that one towards Link. Might actually connect with something if he doesn't get taken out by the guy behind the barrel. Right off to his right hand side. Pulls out the deagle. Lands that two. Has already taken out three. The bomb's towards front A. There's someone onto Sandbags. He's got to be careful of it. He's got 40 seconds left on the clock. He's got to be very careful jumping up here. The player on Sandbags doesn't give away their position. And he, of course, might not be expecting that. Then again, he can't be expecting too much right now. Did he spot the player on sandbags? Yes, he did. Quickly quickly falls back into cover. Pulls out his deagle. Pulls out the scope. Goes for the no scope towards A. If any of those was, would have connected. I think my head would have stood on end. Pulls out his deagle. Runs with an SMG. Getting heavily tagged up. Unfortunately, it just doesn't work out for him. And that'll be an 8-7 scoreline. to be holding strong, even though... That very, very, very near one versus five just happened. Now I'm going to take it away here with Runs pushing up into this mid side. We'll see him starting off take out Nox. He's going to have a whole bunch of players walking in front of him too. He tags up Foons and fortunately can't close off the frag. As the rest of his teammates start filtering into that A side. Now Sam onto Foons. Blink onto Broski. Looks like they want to try and get that bomb down as soon as they can. Fighter taking out Sam. And it's all down to Extra now. Where is he? He's on hardware 
Sorry, I like he's on sandbags watching towards that hardware side. It seems very paranoid that someone is pushing up from that angle. There's someone off to his left hand side, but not on hardware. But hey, he can't know that. Fighter taking out extra, and that's going to take it to 7 9. Two rounds difference now. As the D5 value guys hold strong. Let's flick it over here with the scopes once more. Kambroski Lannis, another nice little smoke shot here. Looks like he's going for the spray. Nothing is connecting, unfortunately. That means that Sam can only sit here and watch on this wooden area as the players that came out of blue start going into that mid area. It seems that Avila are going for a B push. They have got four players. Mo I, I lie. The <laughs> Division 5 guys are moving down towards that B side. SpongeBob playing it carefully towards the B bomb. Looks like he'll be the last line of defense in case someone moves in this direction. It is a two on three right now. Waits for the time to make sure that all those bullets connect. SpongeBob is now your last man standing for Evita. And let's see if we can make something happen. Fighter gets that bomb down. Fighter won't be flying out towards back A anytime soon. Those spray coming in towards or from that hardware side. And oh, plays it smart, but Noxon not falling completely for that bait and is going to get away from that one. He shouldn't spend too much time on this and rather try and draw Noxon towards him. But instead, it seems like he has fallen for it and wasted so much time doing it. Now only going towards that A area. Noxon finally taking him out. 10-7 is your scoreline. Three rounds difference. And Division 5 really pulling out a lead now. Let's take it away here with Fighter as he pushes into this blue area. Moving towards the top, can he get some picks into that mid area? No, it doesn't look like so. He's rather going to go for those picks on that A site. Jumping out towards. Jumping down towards lower blue. Got a couple of teammates playing around in mid actually. It seems to be working out very well for them. Noxon is spraying away towards that car below sandbags. Once again, not connecting with much. And of course, he does hear someone down towards that B site too. Broski takes out KRS. Division 5 only need another three more rounds to take this best of three. With a player behind Noxon, doesn't notice it. It is runs to finally take him out. Moving over here to Fighter. Fighter's just rolling down towards this lower area, laying down, grabbing a scope to uh, get a viewpoint there on the map, see what's going on. Gonna go for that plant. Sam drops down from roof, grabs the first one, grabs the second. But Blink with the Deagle to finally stop him. It's a one versus one. As Blink and Runs go head to head. Runs knows that the bomb is being planted. He sprays down on that bomb site. Which way is Blink going? Blink is actually going to go out onto the balcony. Falls completely for Avila's bait. And Avila's going to... Oh, Runs is going to be able to walk into that bomb site confidently. Get that bomb defuse and grab his team another point. Explosives defused. Seems like the number 13 is a very common number of deaths in this matchup with a total of seven players having died 13 times exactly. We'll see Broski spraying away towards that blue side. Doesn't connect with anything. We'll see Sam pushing up to get into his position for the round. Blink and Runt both grabbing frags. KRS grabbing one too. That means Division 5 have got that man advantage. And we'll see KRS taking out Sam. Fighter and Foon seem to be working together here. Uh, the, I have no idea why his scope will be sitting bottom A, but either way, it doesn't matter too much. KRS takes out SpongeBob, and that's going to be the three round lead holding on to it right now. Division 5 looking strong to take this one after so many rounds of struggle and two 13 11 maps. Broski watching up into that blue area gets taken out by a brilliant native by Fighter. Really would not expect that one. And we will see Extra take out fights, although Noxon onto Extra for the reply. KRS spotting someone going top hardware, not going to be able to do much about it. Does spot someone coming out of Link again. Can't close off that frag. Bring back towards hardware, misses all of it. Explosives planted. And the bomb goes down, sneaking it in there by Noxon. KRS grabbing himself two frags, Sam getting one of his own, and that's going to mean Sam is the last man standing. 
flick over to him. We do find him here. Bottom A, bombs planted at B though. He has got his deagle with him. Needs to reload it, of course. Will he be able to do anything from this position right now? He's got three planes pretty much all aiming down towards him. And with an SMG not really having a long range weapon with him, it's going to be extremely difficult. Noxon finally takes him out. 12 8 is your scoreline. And that means that this is now a map and group point for Division 5. Quick look over here at the scoreboards before moving away. Let's take it away with. Mr. Foons as he's rushed his way into this A site. He'll be moving up here. No one to challenge him. He's going for an incredibly fast plant. I'm pretty sure that's on the record of fast plants for the crash competitive scene. Or at least for the for crash being played. And now we'll see Sam moving in. Takes out Foons. Two on two. Division five seems to be holding extra as your last man standing. He is towards back A. He's gonna be having a player moving over this pallet any second. Oh, not actually going towards the front end, takes out Blink, pulls out his Deagle, preemptively fires towards that door, and actually gets a reply with the spray, moves up onto these stairs, goes for the spray, but nothing connects. 13 8 is your final score. That will be Division 5. Value team taking a 2 to 1 over Evita. Some brilliant plays and some great moments and some very near clutches. And uh, overall, just a superb game coming out from those guys, especially from Avita taking the first map in Division 5, bringing it back for the next. It's really showing their, their real brute and force and strength. And uh, we do see a couple of handshakes going out there. But yeah, guys, this is now from Quad V. We'll be back more with some more coverage, of course, uh, which we're going to be finding out, of course, because the games would have started about 20 minutes ago. So stick around. Uh, We'll update you guys on the Tech 9 and, of course, on our Twitter, which is at Quad V. You guys can follow us on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Quad V. And, of course, if you guys want to catch up on any of our old video uh, videos, you guys can go over to youtube.com forward slash Quad V TV. I have been Menace. You guys can follow me on, on at Menace on Twitter. Other than that, enjoy the rest of your day. See you soon.